this one, My Little Monsters Love. It's definitely not monster themed, but they have a special love of the planets and rainbows. Here on this beautiful book, Eight Little Planets is the title. It's got all of these planets around the sun. It says over here on the back, Eight Little Planets going round the sun. See that mark? That means not the whole. It's using an A is gone. Could these little planets be having much fun? Yes! So it's got all sorts of little funs on here. And we'll read this at the end. So, Eight Little Planets, words by Chris Ferry. I was always probably saying it wrong. Pictures by Lizzie Doyle. Eight little planets going round the sun. Could these little planets be having much fun? Eight little planets with the sun at the center. Does each one wish it were a little better? Hmm. Are they wondering if they're good enough? We have the number eight, and I have two circles. There is some little space bodies just blowing around. And who is this? Well, old slow Neptune. That's who this is. It's Neptune. Looks a bit behind, orbiting the sun takes an awful long time. But the eighth little planet doesn't need to worry. It spins on its axis in a really big hurry. Oh, it's so fast. Seems like a happy fellow. And look at the happy stars in the sky and here's our sun our closest star all right let's go to the next planet i see uranus or uranus seems really quite shy it looks a bit weird spinning on one side how silly it is spinning on its side though that is true it doesn't have a hat and mittens like this one does but Maybe a good one day. Hmm. All right. And then seven. It's our seventh planet. Over here. More space bodies flowing through space. This color of the rainbow here is orange. The previous one we saw was red. Red. R-E-D. Orange. O R A N G E. But the seventh little planet still feels bold. It is pretty cool to be the most cold. From what I know, it is the coldest planet. It's an interesting little tidbit or fact. Silly old Saturn looks far too busy. All those moonlets should make a planet dizzy. Oh my, moonlets, huh? And look at the rings, like a hula hoop. All right, it is the sixth planet. Oh, look, here is a rocket. But the sixth Little planet loves all those things. They help give the planet such beautiful rings. Big stormy Jupiter looks weighted 
down with mass. Four octillion pounds is a lot of gas. And here is five. I think these are supposed to represent all of the different moons that Jupiter has. Jupiter has a lot of moons and a storm, the red eye everywhere. But the fifth little planet doesn't feel down, not with so many friendly moons around. Mm hmm, it's definitely Jupiter's moons. I think we skipped a rainbow. Let's go back. It's yellow from Saturn. Y E L L O W. Yellow. This one is kind of a light green. We'll just call it green. G R E E N E is not how it's spelled. Mommy added an extra E. G R E E N. Green. But that was beautiful there. All right, dry red Mars looks a bit rusty. All those storms can make a planet dusty. Goodness, we have four, so whoop, down. And there's an asteroid belt next to Mars. So maybe that's what these are supposed to be. And this is also a green. G R E E N green. It is a darker green though, or more of a blue green. But the fourth little planet never sheds a tear. It has the tallest mountains of any planet here. Wow. And did you know that it is, in fact, a rusty planet? That is why it's so red. <gasps> Look, it's our planet. Pale blue earth should be filled with strife. It must be hard being home to all this life. The third planet, hurry. And it is blue, B-L-U-E, blue. This is what a satellite looks like, a little bit anyways. They don't have such a cute smile. Here's our planet with little water wings and flippers and a big all smile and our moon. But the third little planet doesn't feel tense. It is quite proud to be the most dense. How fun. All right, we're on to the second planet. Fiery Venus must feel rather fraught. 900 degree temperatures sure are hot. Yes, indeed, 900, that's a lot. Oh, and look, these are like little constellations. That's pictures that people draw with the stars. Two, two, and look, here's Venus with some sunglasses and a drink. But the second little planet never cries. It loves being the brightest planet in the sky. We call Venus the morning star because you can still see it in the morning. There may be other reasons, but that's definitely one that's true. A lot of times what you'll see in the sky and you think is so bright, it might be a planet like Venus. Super fast Mercury could sing a sad tune it must get lonely without any moons. You think so? It's got the sun right there with it. One. I think we skipped a color, didn't we? Before we read more about Mercury, 
Let's talk about this ring. It's purple. P U R P L E. Purple. Alright, so that's all the purple night sky over here. But the first little planet never feels bad. Being closest to the sun is reason to be glad. You see, even though all of them have different qualities, they all have reasons to be proud and happy about who and what they are. Let's read the back. Neptune loves how fast it spins on its axis. Its axis is the part that it spins on. Mars has the tallest mountain and Mercury is the closest to the sun. Each planet is unique and that's what makes each planet feel special. Celebrate our solar system in this delightfully fun, fact-filled planetary tale. Eight little bonus facts. Here's number eight. Neptune takes 165 Earth years to orbit the sun. That means to make it all around it. 165 Earth years. Wow. Seven. Uranus is a very windy ice giant. Oh my. Six. Saturn has seven spectacular rings. Five. Jupiter's great red spot is a giant storm. Four. Mars is the closest planet to the asteroid belt. So that's probably what that was. Three. Earth's surface is nearly 70% covered by water. Wow, that's a lot of water. No wonder we're the blue planet. Two. Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. One. Mercury takes 88 Earth days to orbit the sun. Wow, that's so short. That is not even four months. Shorter than that. This book is dedicated to minor planet Pluto. Your parents might tell you that they knew when planet Pluto was considered a regular planet. But what happened was they found other little minor planets too. And so they realized that Pluto didn't really belong with the rest of these guys. But don't worry, it's still special in its own right. Chris Ferry is a physicist, mathematician, and father of four budding young scientists. He believes it is never too early to introduce small children to big ideas. Lizzie Doyle is a designer, illustrator, and author from New Jersey. That's a state. She loves all things smiley. I couldn't tell. Look at all these smiles. And you'll never see her without tea in hand. Tea's a kind of drink. This is from Sourcebooks Jabberwocky. Jabberwockykids.com is their site. And I'll have a link down below to the publisher. I hope you enjoyed the story of the eight little planets. Have a great day.